Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how I fill my brows in, which is why pretty much the rest of my face is done and my brows are not. I'm going to like literally go in and show you step by step how it is that I fill in my brows. I've been filling them like this lady maybe for over a week. And although I've always gotten props on my brows, I'm getting way more props lately on my brows. And I did recently switch it up. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is that I use and how I do it specifically in this one video I'm gonna show you also what you're going to need you're going to need a brow powder any brow powder is gonna work I've just been using this brow bar by Rima one we got something very similar in Basi Charm if you have that use it it's literally the same thing the only difference is that this one comes with a concealer and a highlight I generally skip the highlight so just know you do need a concealer so if you have powders but you don't have a concealer just grab any concealer that you would normally use for your under eye you're going to need a little brush to clean out your brow area on the bottom portion you're gonna need a brow brush along with a spoolie if you don't have a dual ended and you need to grab two separate ones that's perfectly fine girl um mine is an angled one this is a morphe b3 i want to say b31 i could be wrong this is so old but i've loved it since i got it so you're gonna need one of these and you're gonna need this yes i know i showed it on instagram people are like wait what what i know but i'm saying it freaking works and it you can multitask it you can use it for your hair too i mean hello it's made for the hair use it on your brows and yes i was filming another video and i was like let me film this brow tutorial that way everyone can see what i've been doing just in case because a lot of people have been interested and then i'll come right back to the other video so i'm literally filming two videos in one sitting so if you're liking this eye look make sure you go check that video out it is an unboxing it is one of like my top two favorite boxes and they amazed me this month just saying so you should totally go check it out so first things first you can do it bare faced i like to do it with my foundation on already that way i can kind of see how it's all gonna like gel literally no pun <laughs> gel together and i squeeze a little bit of product out i take my little spoolie you see what i'm saying just a little bit of product i take my spoolie and i just do one of these and kind of like rub it on there i don't apply too much because you don't want to make a hot mess out of the situation either then i grab that spoolie and i brush my brows up you're going to want to make sure that your brows have been trimmed and kind of waxed or plucked in areas that need it i did that like three days ago um so i think i'm good for now you just want to take that product and comb your hairs up shape your brows the way you like it I'm gonna allow this one to kind of start drying out so I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite brow. I know brow lamination is currently a trend. I don't like it because I feel like my brows feel so hard and stiff and weird. So this is an alternative for me because I like for my brows to look like they're combed up and polished like really groomed so i ended up doing it this way and it totally worked out for me because i don't like my brows to feel crunchy and hard and like stiff and weird now the easy part i like to kind of mix the two shades together and i just start to fill in on an angle like i know people just do like their brush strokes but i don't have the patience for that to be honest like i just feel like even sometimes brush strokes don't look really natural so I will line my brow at the bottom and kind of fill this area in because I want it to be a little more sculpted. And then I comb up. So I just want to kind of trace the outer edges of my brows and then I fill it in. On the inner portion of the brow, like the beginning of it, I'll take my little brush. I love that it's an angle. So I just turn it on its side and whatever is left on the actual brush, I just kind of like pat it and tap it into place until it looks like there's a gradient going on. Once it's all dried up, the gel is dry, I will take the A setting spray, wet my spoolie all over again, just so that it's like nice and kind of like soaked. And we're gonna wet the gel just a little bit all over again, just by spraying our spoolie and going back in. And that's gonna recomb our brow hair in place while distributing the product so it looks nice and filled and even so if you miss a little spot this is a good way to do it 
Then as you can see, the bottom area is kind of looking a little splotchy and that's where the concealer and your little brush come into play. I will take just a very small amount and focus it in this area. I don't dive back in because as you can see, that's a lot of product still left. So I will take it with the edge and just clean the bottom portion of my brows up. If you feel like you need to like carve out the top a little bit, you can do that too. And this is the brush that I used for like this crease area. Never, ever leave it kind of like weird up there. Cause I've seen people just leave their concealer and not really blend it out. And it just, it's, it doesn't look right in my opinion. Like I don't like that look. So I'll take whatever's left on my brush and do one of those. And then my brows are nice and clean. See the difference? Like this is a brow. What happened here? This is a brow. What happened here? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the fast forwarded version of this, cause if not, it's gonna take forever and I'll be right back. And that's how I've been filling my brows in for the past week. Super simple, really easy. I personally like this gel only because it does hold them in place. They're nice and stiff, but it doesn't feel crunchy and hard. Um, with that said, I think you can use any gel that you currently own. I just had this because of my wigs. And that is a wrap for this video. Let me know down below. Did you guys expect to see me applying hair gel on my brows? Make sure you comment down below and let me know whether or not you liked it. Did it work for you? Was it too much? I don't know. Give me your feedback down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.